Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and in today's tutorial I will teach you how to draw the Quaternary Node in Affinity Designer. The Quaternary Node is a Celtic symbol that represents balance and harmony. It is made of four overlapping circles, and one circle that go around in the middle. This is my fourth tutorial on Celtic symbols, the other ones being the Tri Quetra, the Tri Scallion, and the Sach Bithol. Alright, so to get started we go to File New and we create a new document. We give it 2000 by 2000 pixels in dimensions. And we click on Create. And then we go to View Guides and we add some horizontal and vertical center guides to the composition. And then we make sure that Snapping and Snap to Guide is enabled. And then we are going to start drawing the figure. We take the Ellipse tool. We set the fill to None. We we'll leave the stroke as black. And we set the stroke width to 20 points. And then we go ahead and we draw an ellipse. And we give it 950 by 950 pixels in the control panel. And then with the move tool, we center it on the horizontal axis. And then we set its left point at 890 pixels on the X axis. So it should be positioned like this. And then we're going to use this circle to create the other circles. So we go here to enable transform origin. We position the rotation center in the middle of the composition and then we press on enter to bring out the move duplicate panel. We check on duplicate. We set the numbers of copy to 3. We set the rotation angle to 90 degrees. So this creates the three other circles that we need for the figure. And then we press Ctrl J to duplicate the circle once more. And then we position the duplicated circle right here in the middle of the composition. So now we have all the circles that we need to create the figure. So the next step is we press on Ctrl A to select all the elements of the figure. And we go to Layer, Expand Stroke. This breaks the circles into strokes and intersections. And now that we have done the Expand Stroke operation, we can remove the parts that we don't need. So the parts that are lying outside here. So we take the Shape Builder tool, we set the action to minus. And then we remove all the parts that are lying outside. And now we are going to connect the parts that we need connected. Before we start connecting, we take the ellipse tool and we make sure that the stroke and fill lines are set to black. And the stroke width is set to zero. And then we take the shape builder tool again. We set the action to plus and we are going to start connecting the parts that we need connected. So here on the outer circle, we connect the parts here, here, here and here. And then we connect the parts here, 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 and here. And then we connect the elements here, 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 and here. And finally, the elements here, 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 and here. All right, so now we have connected all the parts that we need connected together. So the next step is that we're going to create the small gaps between the elements. So in order to do this, we take the contour tool and we set the radius to minus three. And as you can see, this creates the small gap between the elements. And then the last step is that we're going to rotate the figure so here in the transform panel, we set the rotation angle to 45 degrees. And now we have the figure positioned as we want it to be. So that was it for this tutorial. You'll learn how to draw the quaternary node in Affinity Designer. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye.